what uh, could you tell us, Professor, about white light? Why graphene and, and white light? It was accidental mm -hmm. because uh, uh, my laboratory was focused on uh, interaction of uh, laser light with mm -hmm. different uh, materials. And when we focus a uh, laser beam on uh, graphene, we observe a very intensive white uh, light. Mm -hmm. We, of course, measure it, uh, the properties of this light, but there was also some unusual discovery that this light is very simple. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, it is not simple in graphene, because the graphene was uh, placed in some bubbles, and so this bubbles was irradiated with focus beam of lasers, and but it resembled very close white light discovered by Edison. So there was another attempt because uh, in last years people already forgotten about the application of this classical Edison bulb because efficiency electric energy efficiency is very low. But quality of this light was, is much better than uh, white light, which is uh, obtained by a uh, light emitting diodes, a LED. So this is uh, something that was very tempting to, because this light uh, from graphene was uh, irradiated by uh, laser diodes operating in infrared. And so it seemed to us that it may be very competing applications. So there is, um, we started a very intensive investigation of properties of the light, so how it depends on the uh, excitation wavelength, how it depends on the excitation density of excitation, how it depends on the um, uh, vacuum, and different, different uh, things. So do you think it can be the next generation? White light and generation of light in lighting in general? Uh, in general, but uh, usually at, the, at this time we applied uh, white light not only for illuminations. Mm -hmm. Very often this, uh, we uh, apply light for imaging, so all pictures are, um, uh, you know, the, uh, under the process of uh, um, digital analysis and this very important quality of this light. It makes that in application when you use this light for medical application, you, you have to in, uh, investigate the, the picture very carefully because it may, may, should be very sharp, mm -hmm. sharp picture, imaging, and especially on the uh, border of picture. Mm -hmm. And so, so uh, how how the white light can be applied uh, apart from medical uh, use? Of course, you know, uh, our life, mm -hmm. all life depends on, 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 on <laughs> white light. Uh, agriculture, our life, uh, normal life. We can imagine how some civilizations develop it with the white light. It is very closely related because at the beginning people um, could do efficient, efficient work only during several hours of day. Now by using uh, white light we can 24 hour work. So it is it is an acceleration of our possibilities of uh, producing. So uh, it can it can we use white light like, let's say, uh, sunlight? Is it like similar? So it's very similar. And it does it have any uh, um, disadvantages? I mean, that can it be harmful for people, for humanity? Of or course. Can it be harmful? Yes. Uh, white light, uh, of course, um, uh, that is determined by some condition of color mm -hmm. of uh, stability of this light mm -hmm. by uh, energy efficiency, mm -hmm. many different uh, mm -hmm. because uh, all this uh, classical uh, lamp uh, efficiency was not more than one person, but 
uh, you have to use uh, high power to eliminate all cities, uh, for instance. Mm -hmm. so, and this progress in the uh, application of white light is a question of the last century, practically, because uh, uh, first bulb of Edison at the beginning of the 20th century, but how, how developed it because in, in, in meantime there appeared also another uh, halogen lamps, uh, uh, mercury lamps, there are many uh, different white sources, white light sources.